Well, here we are. It's uh, about the 20th of October. We're out on Lake Elmnor. It's below freezing this morning. Huh. I fell in at the boat ramp, so I'm kind of cold. But a beautiful morning. The pond smelt bite is on. I'm putting out one big spoon on lead core. I'm going to put it down about 10 feet. Um, and then I'm going to put out a fly right on the surface with just a single split shot on it. Got slammed on this uh, this spoon on a short troll last night, so I'm hoping uh, hoping to get popped again. We'll see. So with this rig, I've got about 60 feet of fluorocarbon leader, and I'm running two colors of lead core. Need to adjust my rod. I don't like it being up like that. I want it a little flatter, but that's looking good. We'll get the fly out here shortly. that fish about 10 feet deep about two and a half miles an hour. We'll be back on beautiful Lake Elmanor after this. For fishing kayaks and bison more, turn to Kayak City in Citrus Heights, California. Their knowledgeable staff will get you out on the water and you'll soon be yelling fish on. Dude, <laughs> so I got down to the ramp this morning, right? There's, there's these hash marks in the concrete. So nobody's around. So I put my boat, I put the kayak, start putting it in, and I'm walking on the part with the hash marks. I'm in the water. I'm ankle deep in the water. So I think, well, let's put the kayak on the cement here and park the truck and hop in. So I put it over close to the floating dock, but I, I didn't even think about it. The cement there is no hash marks it's just smooth concrete and it has algae on it and I was instantly on my ass in two feet of water freezing so are you there yeah so I uh, I get out get in the parking lot nobody's around so I rip off all my clothes I'm standing there naked trying to dry off and put on new clothes just in time for two subscribers to show up <laughs> hey Cal is that you what are you doing I said, my advice to you is to stay out of the water because it's a little chilly. <laughs> They're like, are you okay? I said, yeah, I'm fine. I hurt my wrist and hurt my ribs, but I'm good. So, anyway, I'm, I'm on the peninsula here. I found some good looking marks and some bait. I made a pass. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, I got one, I got one, shit. Oh, I got a good one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is a good fish, Wes. He's on my, I got him on a fly. Oh, this is a good, this is a good fish. This is my first hookup of the, well, second hookup of the morning. I don't have my, he's on the other side from my, got lead core out. I'm below all these millionaires mansions. Oh, he feels heavy. Fuck. You know what, I can bring him right around here. Fuck. Come here. Okay. Oh, he's running, Wes. He's fucking running like a striper, Wes. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's under the kayak. Oh, he's way over there. Oh, oh fuck. Hang on. I got a pimp. Oh, fuck. That's a big fish. I think he's a big fish. He feels big. He feels fucking huge. Oh, he's running again. Fuck. Oh, he is. He's huge. He's huge. Fuck. Oh, this is a good fish. Oh, he's fucking huge, Wes. Oh, he's huge. He's running. He's running. Oh, he's, he's up on top. Fuck. Fuck. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Oh, fuck. 
He's huge. He's beautiful. Oh my god. I'm so stoked right now. Awesome. Oh my god. Oh my god. He just jumped out of the water. Oh my god. He jumped over the front of the, the, the he fucking jumped over the bow of the kayak, dude. This is like, I don't even know how big he is. He's big. He's, he's pulling the kayak at this point. He's dragging me around. Oh my god. He's fucking huge. Oh my god. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. He's warm. He's fucking huge, Wes. This is the biggest rainbow I've caught in a long time. Come here. Come here. Oh fuck. He saw the name. He took off. Fuck, he's hot like a salmon. Oh, come on. Don't come off. Don't come off. He grabbed a trolling fly. Okay, here he comes. I'm gonna try for him. Oh, he's like five pounds, Wes. He's huge. He's fucking huge. He's huge. I got him! I got him! Oh my god, Wes! <laughs> Well, you probably heard all that. I was talking to my kayak fishing buddy when I caught that fish. Look at that stud. Look at that stud of a rainbow. Oh my God. Look at that fish. What a beautiful fish. Oh my God. Oh, I got him on the, uh, got him on a uh, Arctic Fox trolling fly. Wow. What a fish. What a fish. Look at that stud. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Woo. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> oh. Well, it's almost noon. Um, I got a big fish on a trolling fly this morning, and uh, I'm actually heading back to the to the ramp. I want to get that fish on ice. He's over here on my on my stringer. Um, just thought I'd talk a little bit about trolling flies. This is an Arctic fox trolling fly. They come in all different colors and patterns. Um, they've got rainbow trout patterns, shad patterns, smelt patterns like this. And I'm here at Lake Elmenor, so I'm running a smelt pattern. We team these flies with a wiggle disc, a little clear plastic disc, which makes the fly have a very erratic, pulsating action when it's trolled through the water. Um, I generally like to troll these about 1.5 to 2 miles an hour, although you can troll them faster or slower than that, but those have been the best speeds for me. Um, it's a presentation the fish don't see a lot. When the fish are hitting, uh, feeding on bait fish, it's very effective. Um, it mimics bait fish very well, and again, it's something the fish don't see. They don't see a fly as often as they see spoons and rapalas and things like that. So next time you're out looking for some trout lures, consider getting some trolling flies. And the folks at Arctic Fox, they make just about the best flies there are for trolling. Um, I've got no skin in the game. I buy my Arctic Fox flies just like everybody else. So I'm not just kind of trying to pimp a new product. Um, they're worth the money. They're not very expensive. They're about three bucks a piece. They last forever. and they are deadly in certain situations. Grab some flies, you'll want them this fall. Right after lunch, a strong Sierra wind kicked in and Lucy and I had a long, scary run back to the ramp. With following whitecaps, we made a pretty rough landing back at the ramp, but we were fine. We were a little damp, Stay. but we were just fine. It doesn't look like Lucy is a big fan of rough water. Well, here we are. Lucy and I are packed up and ready to head home. What an incredible two days we had on Lake Elmenor. Um, the trout weren't plentiful, but man, were they ever big. And uh, we had plenty of adventure along the way with wind and cold and falling in the lake and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, Elmenor is just a premier fishery for big browns, big rainbows, and uh, I can't wait to get back here again.